Hello again guys, I am Blunty and I apologize if I look kind of sweaty and awful on camera today. I am sick again, but I am full of enthusiasm and joy because today is Loot Crate Unboxing Day. Exactly the right thing I needed to cheer me up on this dreary, lousy, sick, sweaty, clammy, awful day. And just quickly for anyone not familiar with the Loot Crate concept, is it a concept where you get a loot, a crate, a crate full of loot, geeky, nerdy, gamer kind of stuff, figures and t-shirts and stickers and, and books and stuff like that every single month. It's a subscription service, you pay X amount of dollars and they send you way more value than that every month in a box that looks just like this or similar to this. This one's a slightly different shape than the one I got last month. If you haven't seen last month's video, it's linked, by the way. Eh. But yeah, that's the point. And in addition to the lovely surprise of getting a, a lovely mystery box full of nerdy gear each and every month is that, of course, me being the YouTuber kind of guy that I am, I get to unbox it live on camera for you and share the excitement and discovery with you guys. And that's always fun. At least it is for me. I hope it is for you guys as well. Well, I guess it would be, um, of course, you, um, you wouldn't be watching uh, unless it was, unless it's to see me flail around and, and misuse the English language. We should open this. Alrighty, let's get to it. Let's find out what's inside the villain's crate. I have with me my handy dandy deluting knife. Uh, degrating knife? Dilute. I think I like deluting knife better. What do you reckon? Deluting or degrating knife? Deboxing knife? Decutting knife? The good button. Oh, oh the, the dangerous knife. So, what are we dealing with? Oh, oh, check out this. Okay, uh, I've got to find my uh, last month's uh, loot box for this one. There we go. So last time, as I showed you in the unboxing video, it has the standard tips for the perfect unboxing thing. You know, document and share and enjoy. And I showed that off last time. It's bright and orange so you can see everything inside the crate nice and easily, which is a good design, uh, especially for <laughs> opening stuff on camera. So we'll get rid of that. This time around, because the theme of uh, this month's loot crate is villains, they've gone ahead and done something cool. They've uh, so a bit inspired by uh, a lot of Joker stories where the Joker is written you know, graffiti on everything, and all oh, this, you know, there's the Joker and Harley, and a uh, little, uh, what do they call it, cherry bomb thing, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's been deliberately uh, vandalized, perfect in quotes, tips for the perfect crime, uh, share with no one, document, say cheers, enjoy, or else, I like that, that's, that's some attention to detail that makes uh, this whole unboxing loot crate experience a little more fun that's very clever well you know some other companies have might have just thrown the stuff in a cardboard box and send it to you but these guys they put thought into these every uh every month and i i you know, enjoy that i can already tell the t-shirt the t-shirt's a joker themed t-shirt although i can just see the see the horns here and the you know armor leg here and a big staff there that i'm guessing is i'm going to guess jokey a loki joker hybrid let's see if i scored it yep i did check that out all right so let's do the thing where i cut away and put the t-shirt on and uh wear it because this is you know too awesome not to see on a human shaped body well a roughly human shaped body well my body some of you may have noticed by the way by pure coincidence i didn't put this on specifically for this video this is just the t-shirt i was wearing today as a matter of fact by the way, but it is the t-shirt I got in last month's Loot Crate, so it was kind of a, a, an omen, a, a harbinger, not a harbinger really, but a, a, a lucky coincidence is what it is, because it happens to be one of the only three t-shirts I've got that are clean at the moment. You didn't need to know that, but now you do. Anyway, off with Marty McPrime and on with Jokey, and again, I, don't, I should have checked the tag to see whether it's the same uh, manufacturer they get these made at, or get them from at least, but again, Wonderful fit, great feeling cotton, you know, it's lovely and soft and stretchy and, you know, exactly how I like my t-shirts to fit. Not too tight, not too loose and, you know, plenty long enough so it covers up my bum and stuff. And, you know, it doesn't uh, show my gut when I go like that because, you know, I'm a chubby guy and we get self-conscious about our chubbiness sometimes. Not often, because, you know, if I got embarrassed about it often, I would, I don't know, eat better and work out more. I'm happy the way I am. But yes, fantastic t-shirt again absolute win from Loot Crate. I'm, I would subscribe to these boxes just for the t-shirts, I think, because the price you pay for the su subscription of a Loot Crate, at least when you convert it to Australian dollars, is, you know, about the same or slightly less than what you'd pay for most nerdy type t-shirts around these parts anyway. Alrighty, so what else have we got this time around? Oh, that's awesome! Deadpool socks. That is 
epic. I love those. I used to wear uh, uh, character socks all of the time. Anyone who knew me in high school, as a matter of fact, knew that I had an extensive collection of major, mainly superhero and cartoon themed socks. Uh, not so much these days. Uh, these days I'm kind of, I wear the boring grown up ones, you know, they're all grey and black and brown and stuff. But for no particular reason other than, that, you know, they're cheap. And uh, But yeah, I'm, I'm ecstatic to have a pair of Deadpool socks that is awesome that's wicked that's that's worth the price of admission alone in my opinion keychain up next darth vader yep darth vader let's pop me out of the plastic here so we can see him better here we are and i don't actually have a keychain on my keys at the moment i did have a superman shield about the same size made out of metal and stuff this is rubbery plastic so it's a little bit kinder i ended up taking the superman shield off because it was just heavy and it tended to scratch things in the pocket with the keys and i don't know Darth Vader, pretty cool. At this point, I should reiterate the my rules for, for my special blunty unboxings of the Loot Crate. Every time I unbox one of these things, I'm going to go through and list you know, the bits, the things I'll keep for myself that I think are awesome, the bits I will give to someone special, and the bits I will give away to one of you guys watching right now. And I think the uh, Darth Vader chain, uh, keychain, as cool as it is, I might sacrifice that as a giveaway to one of your viewers who comment. So we'll see, we'll see how we go with the rest of the unboxing, but uh, that might be in the running for a, a viewer prize, that one. What's this? Poster. They've done the right thing and rolled up the poster, not folded it, so when you hang it on the wall, uh, it uh, doesn't uh, have any folds and creases in it. Smart, clever. Thank you, people at Loot Crate. You uh, know what geeks like. No folds in our posters. What is it of, though? Uh, da, da, da. Oh, check that out. That's a painting. I don't know who that artist is. I can't tell. It's, a, it's not Alex Ross, although you know it's a bit painterly, like Alex Ross stuff, but not quite as realistic. If someone out there is up to date on current DC artists and stuff and knows you know, instinctively who painted that, let me know. But I think I might have to hang on to that one myself. Um, I'm, you know, I'm just awesome. And I can already tell that's the Joker up on the next one. There we go. That's awesome too. And uh, presumably you can split these. Yeah, they feel like they're folded. I'll have to cut that really gently to uh, separate these. Or maybe I'll just hang them as they are joined. I don't know yet. Haven't decided. But that one, oh, that one's a keeper. That one's mine forevermore. What else we got here? Oh, we've got the special Loot Crate badge, which comes in every crate. Uh, the Loot Crate, July 2014. The Villain Crate. So we have Darth Vader, Deadpool, and uh, Harley Quinn, and... Someone else, I can't quite tell who's cut off. That might be Loki. That looks like his arm and cape coming in the side there. Probably is, seeing as we got Loki on the t-shirt, or Jokey on the t-shirt. Cool. Necessary Evil Supervillains of DC Comics. Hmm, this is a CD by looks of things. Uh, no, it's from Warner Video. This is a DVD, apparently. Let's, uh, where's the seam on this thing? We'll, we'll get the deboxing, diluting. What did we decide on? Diluting knife? to uh, slice open this shrink wrap plastic here, hopefully without scratching up the, <laughs> the DVD inside. Necessarily evil supervillains of DC Comics. I have no idea what's on that. Probably some, uh, I don't know, motion comics. I'll check that out and come back to you on that one. So this is actually pretty awesome. It is a full length documentary from, from DC, uh, running about an hour and 40 minutes long, all about the villains of the DC Universe. You know who they are, what they mean, what you know their stories in general, and you know what kind of aspects of villainy they 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 embody, and the different ways they've they've gone ahead and uh, you know explored villainy in the DC universe, in the comics, and the movies, in the animated shows, and the animated movies, and uh, it's kind of awesome. I'm not going to show too much because I don't know whether I'll get copyright pinged by this if you happen to hear too much of it, but uh, it's epic. I can't wait to watch the thing in full and properly. But that. That's sweet. I, I don't know if this necessary evil thing has appeared as a bonus feature on on a DVD somewhere else or anything, or been available separately. But uh, I'll have to Google that, or I'll let you guys Google it. But either way, I'm, I've, I haven't seen this. I've seen similar DC produced documentaries. Uh, there's one about Superman that's particularly fantastic, for instance. So I'm really looking forward to watching this. It should be awesome and very very enjoyable indeed oh look, Lafries. Yeah, <laughs> love that guy. Um, but yeah, sweet, kick ass, awesome. So, uh, hmm, that might be a gift. I've got a few friends who are still deeply, deeply into reading DC Comics. I love DC Comics, by the way. Haven't read them much over the past couple of years. The whole D New 52 thing kind of, it lost me a bit. Um, but, uh, you know, that's, that's a discussion for another day. So, let's, oh, oh, cool. That's a magnet. 
And if you can't tell me who's on that, you're, um, well, you shouldn't be watching this video at all, really. I don't care what fanship you are, if you don't know exactly who that is, and who he belongs to, and what series and everything, you, you just, just, just go away. Just close the video right now. Alright, the uh, Loot Crate magazine for, uh, for this month. Kind of cool cover. I, I kind of recognize that art. It's in the style of someone I used to know, I think. I don't know. I'll have to find out. But let's, let's see what's going on this time around. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, featured looters. Oh, some photos from last month's uh, Loot Crate. No screenshots from my video in there, I'm noticing. Mm -hmm. uh, Q&A of Scotty Young. Cool. Top 5 video game villains. Mm. Uh, Ganon and Bowser. If, oh, I don't know. Do, 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 do. Match each quote to the villain who uttered the phrase. That should be fun. A little test of geek knowledge there. And uh, what uh, the, 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 the listing of things that you've got. So, and, and this well, this is something that uh, we knew was coming in this loot crate because the loot crate people were talking about it on their Twitters and stuff. And this is a, a limited edition variant. Uh, I don't know how limited it is. It's just a variant edition cover of the Rocket Raccoon comic from Marvel Comics, of course. And you can see there is holding his own little loot crate. Um, and this is, of course, you know, they're launching the, the Rocket Raccoon comic book series because, of course, Rocket Raccoon is about to become relevant again, being in the new uh, movie that's coming out, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. God, my mind went totally blank on the damn name of the thing, but I'm very excited to see it. Um, Rocket Raccoon, relatively obscure character, but he's about to become quite famous being in a movie, and apparently he's quite entertaining in the movie. And uh, this is boarded, as all comics should be when they're sent around like this, and sealed up, so, yeah, fully sealed. So, collector's edition, fully sealed, boarded up, ready for uh, popping into your collection or ripping open and reading. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet with that one. Oh, this is a tough one though. So, you know, I guess yeah. That's the. We'll, we'll actually we'll do that. We'll, we'll give away two. We'll give away these. Oh, I don't know. I want. I want to keep that for my fridge. Actually, no. Come on, be a good guy now. I'm giving away these two to uh, a lucky viewer who I pick at uh, random or by entertainment value of your your um comment. Make it a relevant comment. Some people just were copying pasting jokes before, hoping they would pick them. No, make it a comment about the stuff in the loot crate, and you know, I'll pick someone. It makes an interesting, insightful, or funny comment about what was in this stuff. But uh, yeah, I'll um, give you a, a week, and I'll pick someone, and I'll contact you privately for your address, and I'll send these out on to you. Yeah, but that one I think I'll pass under a friend, but uh, everything else, yeah, I've got to keep the badge. The poster's mine, comic book's mine, uh, that, well, the Loot Crate thing's neither here nor there, but this, uh, and the t-shirt, which I'm wearing, so I can't actually show it to you right now, but... Um, Let's have another shot of me in the t-shirt. Fantastic t-shirt. Yeah, I'm keeping those. Those are um, awesome and epic. And uh, I'm hanging onto the box as well, because that, that's kind of... Oh, and there's stuff in the bottom, of course. <laughs> but the box is kind of awesome. Very entertained by that. Oh, look. The BA of the, the cheat code is in his eyes, and the arrows are his eyes. Very clever. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. But that is... The Loot Crate for this month now. The link currently on your screen and the associated uh, discount code will uh, get you 10% off a subscription if you are interested in snatching up these for yourself. You won't be able to get this villain thing because the villain one's ended, but next month apparently the theme is Heroes, so it'll be a similar array but with heroics, uh, heroic peoples and, and, and instead of, you know, villains. Well, Deadpool's not really a villain, really. He's kind of an anti-hero, but, you know, well, we, won't, we won't start picking at those threads. But, uh, yeah, I get a little kickback if you use that link up there, the lootcrate.com slash Blunty, and you get 10% off when you use the code Blunty. Um, you don't have to use that link if you don't want to, but if you do, I get, you know, a couple of dollars in my pocket for, um, you know, sending you their way. That's how it works. Anyway, that's it for me for this one. Um, really, really nice haul. I, I, again, I'm, I'm in love with the t-shirt and the socks, and... Uh, this is brilliant. I love it. I'm excited. I'm so happy to be doing this Loot Crate thing. It's so much fun. And for those of you who did catch the last unboxing and you're wondering what I wound up doing with that decal, the Decepticon decal, it's on my MacBook Air now. It's a Decepticon. It's never, it's never really misbehaved much. It really should be an Autobot, but you know, still, I had to find somewhere to put it, and I put it there. Also, just noticed, no little vinyl toy figure thingy in this month's Loot Crate. Sometimes I come with, sometimes I don't. This time, obviously didn't. So, little Megatron here is uh, sitting alone. Well, not alone. He's with a bunch of other toys underneath my TV. But alone as far as, you know, my intention of building a Loot Crate figure 
shelf of its own dedicated loot crate figure shelf you know not yet as it turns out uh but yeah um thanks for watching i am blunty and i'll catch you next time